Hey you guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Today we are starting a new series on Mac accessibility. Essentially covering all the visually impaired accessibility options on Mac OS. So this is going to be for Apple users. If you are a Windows user, I've covered all of this in my Windows accessibility series. I also have a PC playlist on my YouTube channel. I will link that down below. But like I said, today we are starting our Mac series and I wanted to start off with something fun. So I thought I would highlight some of the voices available on Mac OS. This is gonna be voices for both voiceover and just regular spoken content. So even if you're not using voiceover, which is Mac's screen reader, you can still have some elements of the screen read out loud to you. And these are voices you can use for that as well. But let's jump into it and we'll check them out. Some of these are pretty funny. All right, I am running the latest version of Mac OS as of December 2023. And in order to check out these voices, we need to jump down into the settings. A couple ways to get into settings. You can click on the settings icon in your dock. You can jump into where all of your apps are located. Click on settings there. You can click on the Apple logo in the upper left and then click preferences, or you can click the spotlight search in the upper right and type in settings. But when we bring up settings here on the left side, you're going to click on accessibility and that will bring up all of your accessibility options on the right side of your window here. Now, as I said, you can get these voices in voiceover, which is the first option, but we're actually gonna go into spoken content. And when I click on there, now I'm gonna zoom in because I need that to be able to see what I'm doing here. But one of the first options here at the top is system voice. And by default, Samantha should be chosen, but we're gonna click on that button and it's going to bring up a whole list of voices. Now, I may have more than you, you may have more than me listed here because you can add and remove from this list. But what we wanna do is go down to the very bottom to manage voices. And that's going to open up a new window with all the voices. Now, I should mention that I'm currently in English. I've checked different languages will have different voices available. And the ones that we are talking about today, the ones I wanna highlight are only in English. At least I've only found them in English. I've checked a couple other languages and I didn't see them in there. So it may only be for English language. But in the English language here, we have a ton of different voices. You can simply click on the play button. Hello, my name is Allison. I am an American English voice. And it will play a sample. If you want to download that voice, you just click on the download button to the far right. And let's listen to some on the way here. Eddie. Hello, my name is Eddie. Eddie is terrible. Hello, my name is Rocco. Hello, my name is Shandy. Some of these are pretty funny. Hello, my name is Shelly. Some have little funny things that they say, like Junior here. My favorite food is pizza. There you go, Junior's favorite food is pizza. But we're gonna keep scrolling down until we get to this section, English US novelty. These are the voices that I wanted to highlight in this video. So we'll just go through and listen to these. These are novelty voices that you can choose as your voice for your computer. So that was Albert. This one's name is Bad News. I sure like the aliens. I just has a computer. <laughs> Bad News, all right. This one's name is Ba. Do not pull the wall over my eyes. Bells. Time flies when you're having fun. Zoom in a little bit more here so I can see it better. This one is boing. Spring has sprung. Fall has fell. Winter's here and it's colder than usual. I kind of love that. That's my favorite, that little limerick. Here's bubbles. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. Nice. 
Here is uh, Celios, Celos? I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Nice. Here's good news. Congratulations, you just won the sweepstakes, but you don't have to pay income tax again. <laughs> so yeah, you can have that as your voice, your computer voice. How awesome is that? Here's Jester. Uh, here's Organ. We must rejoice in this war, but voice. Nice. Superstar. When I grow up, I'm going to be a scientist. This one is Trinoids. I think that's how it's pronounced. We cannot communicate with these carbon elites. Here's a Whisper. This one is Wobble. I sure like being inside this messy computer. And then the last one, I think it's pronounced Zarvox. That looks like a peaceful planet. The sum of the squares of the legs of a right triangle is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. All right, that was Ralph. <laughs> All right, anyway, so these are just some of the voices that you can choose for your computer. Of course, you have a ton of just normal voices, but you also have these fun novelty ones as well. Add a little bit of whimsy to your computing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, this is just the first in our Mac accessibility series. Stay tuned for more. And if you like this and you would like to see more of The Blind Life, definitely check out the YouTube channel, subscribe, turn on notifications. I post videos like this every single Saturday. You can also find similar content on the Blind Life podcast, available on all the major podcast platforms. Just search the Blind Life podcast. Of course, I'll have all those links in the video description down below. That is it for this one, guys. This is Sam with the Blind Life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.